Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. I am covering the Moscow, Idaho, Brian Kohlberger case. Got some new Dylan Mortensen news I want to share with all of you. Dylan Mortensen, the surviving roommate out of that Moscow, Idaho home where four college students got brutally stabbed during the early morning hours of November 13th, 2022. Brian Kohlberger arrested. Two roommates, Dylan Mortensen, Bethany Funk, survived the attack. Now, there's some media reports coming out right now. And in these reports, they are claiming that Dylan Mortensen is isolating herself because she is getting cyberbullied. Yes, came out with a report by the Daily Mail right here. She's isolating herself. Now, we're gonna talk about this report. I'm gonna actually read this report because there's a, I think like a private investigator named Mr. Appleman who was like writing a book. He's right there, he's writing a book and he claims he spoke to Dylan Mortensen's father, Brent Mortensen. He's a mystery too. A uh, guy has a history of DV. You know what DV stands for. I'll actually say domestic violence on his prior wife. Um, Dylan Mortensen. What is going on with Dylan Mortensen? Well, according to this private investigator, uh, author of a book, he spoke with Dylan Mortensen's father and um, basically saying that Dylan Mortensen has isolated herself and she's been playing video games, gaming with people um, to cope with what's going on. Now, what's your thoughts on Dylan Mortensen? Because she is a mystery to a lot of us. Do you feel that she has been cyberbullied? Or do you feel that, actually, actually I've seen people cyberbully and say different bad things about her, but also seen people criticize her behavior on that morning, right? Because, you know, you're seeing your friends and hearing things out of the house, right? You're seeing and hearing and you don't call police at all? Like, that to me is a little bit suspect. But there could be reasonings for that. Traumatized, shock, PTSD. But according to this report here, uh, this guy here spoke with Dylan Mortensen's father. And what was said was, well, we'll read the report. A surviving roommate of the Idaho murder victims, Dylan Mortensen, is report reportedly isolating herself after ex experiencing brutal dogpiling on social media since the quadruple homicide happened in November. The dogpiling, like everyone piling on, right? Dylan Mortensen's this, Dylan Mortensen's that. Why did Dylan Mortensen? I think because it's a public interest case, people are expressing their opinions. That usually happens. New details have emerged about the well-being of the 21-year-old roommate who was in the house of the night of the brutal massacre, right? And told police she witnessed a man walk past her bedroom after he killed her friends. Author and private investigator J. Ruben Appleman is the only reporter to speak with the father of Dylan Mortensen, one of the surviving roommates. In the beginning weeks after those homicides, she was basically dogpiled on social media, he said in an interview with Ashley Banfield to discuss his new book. So this guy's trying to sell a book. Cool, go on the national media, use those platforms to share some of the information you gathered for your book. Um, while Idaho slept, vile web sleuths have accused Mortensen of being involved with the crimes while others call her a drug dealer, among other names he added. This was part of the trauma she has experienced. Dylan herself has retreated from the public eye. Very few people see her. Mortensen's father expressed heartache over his daughter suffering from brutal cyberbullies after the trauma she experienced from surviving the November massacre. But Dylan Mortensen's father told Appleman that his daughter's in the process of healing despite being hounded by bullies. She is in a trauma therapy of sorts 
She's getting help from the spiritual community, he said to Banfield. Isolating herself, but she is stepping out a little at a time. She is gaming online with peers in group sessions. She's doing what she can without going into the public. So gaming, what's going on here, people, with Dylan Mortensen? Also, is she going to be a witness in the Brian Kohlberger case? She's gaming and she's coping, and that's cool, right? The Gonzalez family is also said in this report, um, is defending uh, Dylan Mortensen, uh, defending Dylan Mortensen, um, her actions that day. They're not blaming her. I've seen a variety of people say things about Dylan Mortensen. Yes, and I've seen people accuse her of being a drug dealer. What's your thoughts? I wanted to share that information. Somebody here named Mr. Appleman is writing a book when it comes to this case. But Dylan Mortensen isolating herself. What about Bethany Funk? We haven't heard anything about Bethany Funk yet. About, you know, apparently she only wanted to, she, the only thing we've heard is about her trying to quash that subpoena. And then she decided to talk to Brian Kohlberger's attorneys. In Reno, did she do that? And what about Dylan Mortensen? Has she spoken with Brian Kohlberger's attorneys? And, and or has she been subpoenaed that we don't know about? Will they both testify? Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. We're giving you the latest. I'm sharing what other people are reporting, following this case extensively. Check out my Moscow, Idaho playlist. We will talk soon. Stay tuned.